Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Roland DJ808. The first step before ever updating a firmware is to check which version you have. And you do so by holding panel and turning the power on. Let go and it will show you your version there. Now I downgraded 1.06 to show how to upgrade to the newest version. If you already have 1.10 or higher, whatever the newest one is, do not do the update. Otherwise, follow these instructions. Once confirmed, turn it off. And then you will hold clear and push your power on. It will go and say update and once you're in that mode that is when you will take your USB and plug it into your computer when you do you will see a folder show up on the computer called DJ 808 and then you'll want to make sure to go to Roland to support DJ 808 and download your latest version of the system program. When that opens up, it does give instructions and also tells you about the update history and some new things that have been added in each version. Go down to the bottom, click I agree and wish to proceed with the download and download your file. Now I've already done that. As you can see, it's right here, DJ808. It will come as a zip file, unzip it, and then open the folder. So you see DJ808 UPD bin. When you are there, double click your DJ808 drive, and you will drag and drop the bin file into the DJ808 drive. Once that is complete, eject your drive the proper way for your operating system. Once ejected, pull the USB and then you will push clear to start the update. It will go through account and your patterns will light up. We'll give it a second and we'll be back when it's done. Now that it is done and all finished, you can turn the power off. Give it a couple seconds and then power it back up. Sometimes the clear button will flash like it is now. Let it finish and let the Roland 808 start up as normal. Make sure to do this after every update before proceeding with the factory reset. This ensures there is no other issues that can arise. Once it is all done and lit up, you can power it back down. Now you're going to perform a factory reset. If you have saved patterns and instruments that you want to save, I suggest doing a backup now. To do so, hold pattern 1 button and turn your power on. All of them will light up green. And this is when you will connect to the computer, like so. Once connected, all the pads start flashing pretty colors. And it says check your PC. So back to the PC. You'll see we have the 808 drive again. Double click to open it, make some room. You can see there's now a backup and a restore. I have all these when you open your backup that you want to back up. 
highlight them all, and drag them to your computer, to your folder of choice. Once that's done, you can eject your folder, make sure it's gone, and then unplug your USB. Once that's done, it will be back to green, and you can power down. Now your 808 patterns and instruments have been backed up to the computer because when you do a factory reset, it's going to erase all those. So if you want to keep them, do a backup. Now, to do the factory reset, you will hold the back button when powering up. Hold it till it's powered up. And you'll see it says RST for reset. And your start stop button will blink push start stop it will go through its process when it says ok and everything's lit up it has done a factory reset you can power down you've now done a factory reset after updating the firmware hold panel and power up to verify that you have indeed updated to your latest firmware version that you have installed if everything is okay, you may power down. I would like to add that once you've backed up all your patterns and instruments and then done a factory reset, you're going to want to restore your instruments and patterns, obviously. To do so, once again, hold the pattern one and power up until it lights up green and then connect your computer. Once connected and it starts flashing, your computer will be ready to go with your DJ808 drive. And you'll want to place everything in the restore folder. So go to your folder that you have we're backing up, open up the backup, highlight all your patterns and click programs and then you're going to drag these into the restore folder. Once they're all there, eject and disconnect. The 808 will do a little dance and flash its lights. Do not do anything until all your pattern lights go back to green. There you go. All your patterns and instruments have been restored. You may power down and then power back up normally. Thanks for watching.